Hey guys, um, I decided to make this a separate video because um, a lot of people, you know, need help on it, and they asked me to make a separate video on it. So this is the Glock 17 Hammer Chassis. If you don't know where where we're at right now, watch my previous video. It's uh, me breaking it down and then doing a separate video on this. Next thing you're gonna notice um, when you take this out, it's gonna look like this with the screen for the valve reset in here. I'm not gonna put it. But what you're gonna want to do is when you when you take it out, you're gonna cup it. You don't want to lose the spring. I, I can't tell me how many times I've lost it. It's annoying. So you take that out. The next thing you're gonna do is um just get your little punch here. And first you're gonna want to activate it so it doesn't come out. Just gonna activate it and then just push the spring out. Alright. It's going to come out, the hammer and the hammer spring will come out, along with the valve knocker. So you have, you have your hammer, you got your hammer spring, you got your valve knocker. And then we're going to get our sear out, alright? Just push that out, it should drop right out. And there you go. You have the um, complete naked hammer chassis. And I'll, I'll reassemble it for you right now. Uh, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get your sear in here first. Make your life easy. All right, and there's one, two, three holes. Second hole is for the sear. And what you're gonna do is put it through the other side. Make sure you get the sear in. And once you get the sear in, leave it halfway. All right, and just get the spring. This spring, the 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 straight edge. It's going on top of the sear. You see that little platform right there? It's going on top. If it's under it, it's not going to work. Okay, so get your. You have to use both hands. Get used to that. <laughs> okay, to make sure you installed it correct, let's go like this. If it doesn't do this, you, you didn't install it right, okay? Alright, next thing is you're gonna wanna get the valve knocker and hook it into here. You see that little right here? You're gonna hook the small hole, not the big hole, the small hole into the valve, into the spring. And you're gonna push it through the window. You see the window, guys? You're gonna push it through the window with your right hand or if you're, whatever hand you're good with, just push it through the hole, through the window. Now, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hold that, and with your left hand, or whatever strong hand, you're gonna put in the hammer string, and I'll show you what it looks like correct. This is how it looks correct, all right? And then you see how the valve knocker is in the window? You're gonna drop the gap on top of the valve knocker, and uh, I'll show you how it looks when you, when you should do it. Not gonna lie, guys, it takes a while to get used to it. And your hammer spring should be resting right on the outside. If you don't see it on the inside, on the outside, you're gonna have trouble. So now keep your hand here. Now free up your right hand, whatever hand you're using, and make sure it's lined up. As you can see, mine's not lined up. So now I gotta start lining it up. And I think we got it. Once you got it all the way through, there we go. All right, now I got it in. Make sure you, you put it in right. Oops, pushed it too far. Just do it like three times, make sure you did it right. And this is not smart doing with this. You can probably chip it or something. But, all right, this is, so, this is how you dis disassemble it and reassemble it. I hope that helped you guys. Oh, sorry, I forgot this part. This part goes right here, and then you just put the spring underneath it. Okay. There you go, that's how it looks. All right, hope, I, hope, I hope that helps you guys, and check the next video for the complete reassembly.